Welcome back. We're making some more progress. I think this is update number five. Um, one of the things I've done engine-wise is I pulled out each of the injectors and I had them um, serviced by an old-school mechanic who had the not only the pop pressure tester but also the <coughs> excuse me the um, the honing uh, or polishing um, machine as well. Quite a nifty little machine that one. So effectively reserviced the uh, the nozzles, polished them, and then reset the pop um, pressures again. And of course, you can see they've is also nicely polished the outside casing as well. <coughs> um, I have actually started the motor. Now, in a previous video, I did say that it was running a little bit too um, rich, one for a better word, a lot of grey smoke, unburnt fuel. When I put these injectors back in, it improved quite a bit, but not so much um, as I would have thought. However, a couple of things did occur to me. Well, firstly, there used to be a little kind of a knock. Um, that knock is now gone, so definitely one of the injectors was, was the problem. And the other thing too I did was I unloosened the three um, nuts on the bottom of the injector housing, <coughs> sorry, the pump, and I advanced, I've twisted it so that I advanced the, uh, the timing, and what a big difference it made. Suddenly it was running perfectly, there was no puffs of grey unburnt smoke, um, yeah, did did a did a fantastic job. So now I'm completely pleased with the way this this engine's running, and I'll have it running for you a little later, and I'll show you in the video. But um, so far so good. The only thing I've got left to do is to mount the filter. I've decided to um, mount it via rivet nuts in the same kind of fashion as the original stuff here. So put a couple of rivet nuts on the top here, and that'll just sit more or less there. So that's probably one of the outstanding stuff. There's a little bit of wiring I've got to do left. You can see I've started putting some of the the, the um, cover on the wiring so that's all pretty good. So all in all pleased with that. Now uh, installed the windscreen and I've also installed the uh, wiper motors. What I've done here is I've left this incredibly long because what I'll do is once I've assembled everything, as in I've got the guards, sorry, the wings and the, and the bonnet on with the tyre, I'll be able to move the windscreen forward and then measure the amount of free wire that I need in order to have that flexibility to bring the windscreen down. Um, the other thing I did notice too was that the sweep motion of these old school wiper motors is about from there to about there. Now I know that you can get... Uh, I think it was 110 degree wheels that you can put in them that actually increases the sweep motion. So I might do that at the end um, at some stage, not important now. I can't remember whether or not I mentioned that I've put down here seals um, on the actual lid itself. So I didn't glue anything on the bulkhead, so I've opened that up again. I go back around here and you can see here there's nothing on the bulkhead and under here is where I've put and sorry if you can't see that I put this foam here how effective that'll be I don't know time will tell but I decided to go with that <coughs> with that method anyway um, everything else inside the dash is all right I still got to do something about the steering wheel in terms of reconditioning where there's cracks and so on and gaps and whatnot, so I've got to do that. Um, what else was there? I think that was it in terms of oh, I still got to I still got to fix up the um, Smith's heater, but that's that's not an urgency. The other thing I've done is I've put seats in the back. Um, these are actually I believe off a um, a one ten. So they're not original series um, ones. Obviously, you've got the cloth rather than the rather rather than the other material, but it actually looks quite quite neat in here. So I'm quite happy with the way they turned out. And I was playing with seals. Um, 
And what I've done here is I've put these seals in and the same seal on the bottom and I've have it, I have it facing upwards so that way when the lid closes it actually presses that in. So that actually works quite well. When the chains don't get in the way. Yeah, so you can see how that presses up nicely. Overall, very happy with that. And one last thing I had to do, which absolutely gave me the shits, was had to replace the base of these lenses. These are the um, just a eBay special blue packaging, I believe. And um, what ended up happening was the, the base of it cracked. Here are a couple of photos. So you can see how the base just cracked apart. So I ended up reusing my old galvanized original units. All I did was I just kind of used the, the insulator, the rubber components from the, uh, the new ones. So yeah, a bit disappointing. Um, and I suspect that with the front guards, these are the same thing, um, that they'll have the same problem eventually. I'm hoping not, but um, they seem to be holding. Oh, hold on. Am I speaking too soon? I'm just looking through here, and I think I can see a crack in the plastic there. So maybe they're starting to disintegrate themselves. So it's kind of stuff like that that gives that's annoying because you know again you've got to revisit and um, anyway such is life. Um, I'm sure if I bought more quality items, I wouldn't have had the same problem. Anyway. What else? Um, I think pretty much that's it. It's the beauty about it is that actually looking like a a car again, which is nice. Super happy with progress. Very slow, but some progress is better than none. Tweak the, uh, the injector pump, actually uh, loosened the three nuts and twisted it to advance a little bit. And all that grey smoke that I had earlier on with the running too rich is all gone. So now it's working great. You can see here how I can rock its own machine. 